Hebrew Israelite brother <clears throat> stood up and proudly, proudly said that he keep all the laws. <laughs> he would ask, do you keep all the laws? He said, yes, I keep all the laws. I'm sure everybody know about this debate now with the brother with the corn roll that wouldn't accept scripture that were read, written to me. He wouldn't accept scripture that was read aloud from the Christian brother, even from his brothers. He would not accept the scripture. He kept trying to change the scripture. Everybody, everybody know about that debate. Everybody been talking about it. He, the Christian brother, I seen more of the debate from the brother, from the Christian brother's site. He played a lot of it. <laughs> he asked it. He asked the Israelite brother, do you keep all the law? Since he wanted to say, since he was profound to my gift, he said, yes, I keep all the law. <laughs> all the 613 that was established in Exodus, he said he keep all of them. I keep telling y'all, the Hebrew Israelites, they're even in my comment section, all of them are saying different things. Ain't no new covenant. Yeah, there is a new covenant. But who was the new covenant for? Romans is a false book. So I'm saying, yeah, Romans is now. You don't, some then some say you don't understand Romans. Then some say the entire New Testament was added. So therefore, it's false. I just got a comment that said Jesus is false. I done heard that too. So I'm saying, yeah, Jesus is real. But we still had to obey those laws. <laughs> I mean, I told y'all, the only thing they agree upon is throwing the Christians under the bus. Christianity. <laughs> y'all don't have no room to talk about the Christians. Christian be feeding y'all a bunch of lives. Christian be, okay, if y'all if y'all have the right truth, if y'all have it right, then please explain to me how y'all are so on different pages about your beliefs. <laughs> please explain that. Ain't no new covenant. And some say, yeah, it's a new covenant, but it's still for Israel. <laughs> if ain't no new covenant, ain't no Jesus Christ. There ain't no shedding of the blood. The shedding of the blood marked the new covenant. Stop with where the new covenant, the new covenant started. <laughs> some say, yeah, Esau can't be saved. So I'm saying now, only the chosen people go to heaven. I mean, this was coming out, the Hebrew Israelite camps. Then I've been getting messages from a lot of them saying, all of all of them are not, are not the same. You can't fault all of us for them. Hey, yeah, you tell the truth about them. I know I be telling the truth. But all of them, then, and then somebody, something as well. Everybody claim to be Hebrew Israelite is not uh, Israel. Referring to a lot of them this at their pushing Confu confusion. Some Hebrew Israelite are saying are saying some of the Hebrew Israelite, especially I get the IUIC, are making them look bad. Just like this brother did out there on the streets. How you gonna sit there? Y'all reading the same Bible. Your man reading the same, the very same scripture the Christian brother read. 
but they they say the same thing. But you determined to make the scripture say what you wanted to say. How can you do that? <laughs> Can't be nothing but outright calling the scriptures a lie. Your own partner read the very same scripture the man read, and y'all, and you still said they didn't call it a lie. I got it. They in my comment section. I told y'all this is what they do. Ain't no new covenant. Yeah, there is a new covenant, but it's for you, real. <laughs> if there were no new covenant, when none of us be here today. Y'all think y'all got an automatic ticket to heaven now? It might have was at one point. But when the Hebrew Israelite re rejected God, rejected Jesus, after they had slipped into a world of sin, lawlessness, that's another comment I seen. Uh, uh, a Christian church that leaders, like, they so lawless. Y'all lawless. Y'all the reason why Jesus uh, was crucified. Y'all the reason why he was crucified. God was in Jesus, reconciling the world unto himself, the world. Go ye therefore and talk to into all the world, teaching them to observe. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. God, for God so loved the world, then go to Acts 2.38, where 17 different tongues, 17 different nations, not, not Hebrews, it was like they were scattered, 17 different nations gathered, heard the gospel preached, and they were added to the church. <laughs> I done heard that before. Well, no, nah, them were them were Hebrew Israelite like that were scattered abroad. No, nah, no, nah. no. Nah. No, they were. They had different. They were though though with seventeen different nations, but the apostles only spoke. Galilean. <laughs> so if the apostles spoke Galilean, which was their official language, why did the Holy Ghost endow them with seven with with the ability to be able to speak seventeen other different tongues? Mm -hmm. The Bible got y'all no matter which way you try to go. What laws are you on since you say, I ain't never say we, I'm lawless. I keep telling y'all, I obey the laws of Jesus Christ. Y'all keep wanting to run this 613 together. Y'all want to bring the whole 613 over to the next New Testament yeah, this is another one they say. We still under, we still, we still do, we still are under all the law that were given in the Old Testament. Somebody told me a scripture yesterday and said, see, the scripture where God say, my word will forever stand. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will forever stand. So you try and say, we don't see change. We don't see what things change. Although we see the scriptures, where things did change, Jesus, I come fulfill the law, but still the same at the same time when Jesus fulfilled the law, that means some things stopped. Things that were done back then is no longer doing, being done. You sit there and say you obey all the laws. 
that were given in the Old Testament. But then in my in my comment, I got some people that said, yeah, we don't sacrifice animals no more for atonement sin. That's the only thing that changed. Okay, how how on one hand, y'all keep all the laws, ain't nothing changing uh, according to some of y'all. But on the other hand, the only thing that did change was the law of sacrificing animals. That's what they're telling me. On one hand, yeah, we keep all the law. All the law that we're giving on a nut chain up, but on another, and somebody else come around and say, well, yeah, uh, the only thing that changed was the law of sacrificing animals. That was the work of the law that the Bible was talking about, the works of the law. It, it, it was limited. The works of the law is talking particular about sin, atoning for sin. But like what the brother said, he keep the law, right? He proudly said he keep the law. I would have liked to ask him. I would have liked to ask him what happened if you break the law. Just say you break the law. Just say your partner break the law. Your brother break the law. And you know it. According to the old laws, what was to be done to those who broke the law? <laughs> I asked Pastor Dow and them in Straightway. They claim to be Hebrew Israelite. I asked them about, about that. About two years ago. You know what they told me? We obey the law we can. Hmm. I asked them specifically about it. Y'all claim to be Hebrew Israelite, right? Y'all keep all the laws, right? Yeah, yeah, we keep all the laws. Okay, so what happened when y'all oh, disobey the law and somebody break the law? Under the old law, God did if there was a law where they would be stoned to death, right? When they broke law, Sabbath day law, they were stoned to death. Behind any, pretty much any law that were broke. Because there's a story of a man that was picking up sticks on the Sabbath. And what happened to him? He was stoned to death. There's a lot of laws. Y'all want to talk about y'all keep the laws. There's a lot of laws in, in the old that had to be that were punishable by death. They had to be carried about, carried out by <laughs> So what happened? When you break the law today, for those of you who claim y'all under law, y'all say ain't no laws changed, but then y'all say, well, yeah, the laws are uh, sacrificing animals and stuff for Thomas saying it. But, okay, according to a lot of you, y'all still under the majority of them laws. So, therefore, when it comes to breaking those laws, y'all have to have a system in place to rid evil, right? So y'all want us to believe, y'all want the world to believe that all you Hebrew Israelites don't work on the Saturday? <laughs> they work, just say you work Friday, midnight shift, get off or whatever, I guess, or whatever type of job you work, you get off at 12.02 a.m. <laughs> you violate the Sabbath then, then. So y'all want to believe out of all you so-called Hebrew Israelites, none of you work on a Saturday, which is Sabbath. Somebody sent me a miss. You, uh, 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 Jesus didn't break the Sabbath. What, what, what he was saying, they had a, the Israelites, they didn't understand they called they had a custom and traditions of washing their hands for the years. I said, then Jesus go through the field plucking corn and eating. Yes.
So he was accused of breaking the Sabbath after he did that. What you said was right too. But at that point, that wasn't that wasn't it. So if you if you go through the field plucking corn, that means you're working, right? <laughs> you ain't just walking through the field. They were plucking corn and eating. Yeah. Okay then, so that's why that's when they accused him of breaking the Sabbath, which he did. He did break that law. <laughs> this is what you, this is what I'm getting. The same type of ignorance that that brother on the street displayed is what I'm getting. This is what they do. They want to go round and round in circles with you. What law are you talking about? I told you I've been asking what law. The six thirteen. Don't say it. Don't say y'all don't have a number. Cause we know there was six thirteen in Exodus. So you saying are y'all saying we under the six thirteen still? Minus two or three? You can't get an ounce out of them. You cannot get a straight ounce out of them. You, I've been asking. I got video. Even before I rebooted this channel, I had video. I got some over here. I've been asking their quirks. Everybody asked them their quirks. You can't hardly not get no ounce. They want them. They'll, they'll run over there. If y'all so knowledgeable about the laws, and y'all know the end, how come it's so hard for y'all to answer a, the question concerning the number of laws that was written and what do y'all keep? Give me a number. Give us a number. Y'all cannot hardly y'all keep the laws when you don't know the number of the law that was established, known as the Torah, under the Torah, the 10 plus the 603. See how they try to play it? They always want to use that. Wait, hey, y'all, y'all, what law? What law? When you ask them, okay, since we are still under law, which I never said we were under no law. Yes, under Christ, we are still under law. I made that plain. I think every Christian say that. That's why we had the Ten Commandments. Jesus Christ said, keep my laws. The Bible say, we are no longer the works of the law. Now they want to chop that up, the works of the law. The Bible said we the, that was a schoolmaster. We're no longer under school under the schoolmaster called Faith Have Come. That was that was designed to bring us to faith. Faith has come. So we're no longer under the schoolmaster. The law was a shadow. There's another scripture say the law was a shadow. It was never designed to last anyway. The Ten Commandments were, but not the, the rest that were added. But let them tell it, let the brother say, my beard, my face, and all that. Lord. Come on, man. The Bible done released us from all of that. You trying to work. Just like the brother pointed out over there and all. Well, I'm saying this over here. In uh, what is it, Ephesians? That's what the Bible talk about the works of the law. You just can't say, well, it's talking about just the sac the sacrifice of Elmer. No, it's not. It's talking about the works of the law. Every law that was given under the Moses, known as the Moses law. Everything was excluded. Excluded. When Christ came, he said to keep my commandments. Now you need to go and search the script to see what Jesus Christ's commandments are.
<laughs> this is what they do. I got them. They in them. They coming. They coming all from all over the place. And they are, ain't doing them but killing. I know they see in the comments. They just killing themselves. But yet, they still want to attack. They still want to attack. All the while, they're killing themselves. Ain't no new covenant. Pastor Dow said, ain't no new covenant. Ain't no new covenant. Why you be preaching from the New Testament, preaching Jesus and his apostles? Then you turn around and say, ain't no new covenant. I asked them about sacrificing. I mean, uh, 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 way they handle brothers and sisters that violated the law. They told me direct, uh, we don't do that. Oh, 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 we do what we can. Why you do what you can? Because you under the law of the government? Yes. So therefore, all, all you that holler, y'all obey all the laws of the Torah, going back to them old, even all them laws where y'all had to read evil. If you try, if you saying y'all don't have to do that, then you lying when you saying you keep all the laws. So now you don't eliminate, you don't you don't took out sacrifices of animals. You took out or uh, getting rid of evil. There was a lot of laws under there that when that were violated. Virgins, widow, widow women. A lot of them laws. Y'all don't want to talk about all them heavy laws. Y'all have to, you have to have your own government system. Although you're the United States, if y'all claiming y'all keeping to the laws, y'all have to rid yourselves of evil. Anybody that broke the law, the savage law, any type of law, you were punishable like the woman that was caught in the act of adultery. Wasn't no grace. Wasn't no grace. So y'all gonna say y'all do that? Y'all carry out those punishments? Not here in the United States. So there you go. There's another strike. You ain't keeping all the laws. <laughs> y'all try to play folks stupid. This way, and that brother did the same. He said he pointed that out. Y'all, y'all want to play bounce back and forth. Yeah, we keep all law. We keep all law. Uh, uh well, no, nah, we don't uh, talk for sin no more. Yeah, that's the only law Christ did away with. No, nah, we don't. We don't uh, rid ourselves of evil. We can't do that because we under the government law. Yeah, no, y'all, y'all obey law. Y'all obey God laws, right? So ain't no way the gov the laws of the land trump the law that y'all are under. <laughs> See the type of game they want to play? Your brother, your mama, your sister, whoever you anybody get caught broken any law, and don't say y'all don't break no law. If a man say he don't have a sin, he's a lie, and the truth ain't in him. We sin daily. Man, brother, sister doesn't say it proudly. Yeah, I keep all the law. Ain't no way you can keep all those 613 laws. Ain't no way. Then a brother the other day got mad at me because I was putting a number on the law. Well, the laws were established on the normal system back then, so why can't I use the normal system now? <laughs> Come on. This is what they do. That brother stood right up. Yeah, I'm, I'm self righteous. You self righteous. Ain't no, you ain't gonna make it to heaven. That's what the Bible says. Unless you be born again, come through faith, through Christ, you will not enter in. Y'all wanna bounce around here. I'm Hebrew Israelite. You don't know your history. You don't know. There's some brother coming out. They, 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 they kill me with that. Wanna, they wanna go back and give you all the history. Or oh, they did this. They, that doesn't matter. Jesus, they don't want y'all to know Jesus was a black man. 
They keep pushing Jesus was a white man. They did it. Oh, that doesn't matter. I ain't read nowhere in the scripture to say my salvation is dependent on what color Jesus is or not. And then when they go and pull them scriptures, when it talks, talks about Jesus' identity, they denied the white. The white. But I'm, I'm going to say, and I have said, the descriptions of Jesus that are given in the Bible, that is not the description of what he looked like in the earth. Not the description. And I said this in a previous video. It's possible that Jesus could have looked totally different. You see exotic people, different races. They don't look like what they look like. They, you know what I'm saying? They may look like a certain race, but they actually is another race. You got many white people out here, that look, many light-skinned people that look white. But they ain't white. Just like you got many dark people skinned for a little black. But they not. A lot of Mexicans, a lot of folks that look Mexicans, but they not. It's possible that Jesus could have been like that. That's why we wasted our time trying to figure out what he was and what he looked like. Well, they put a description on in the Bible. Well, it don't matter. If God wanted to know what Jesus' complexion was, somebody would have would have said it in the scripture. It's what it wasn't important. It's not important. God gonna pay them back. 